Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is to answer a question that I get from time to time and I just had it actually uh, this morning and it's concerning the display language. Uh, people um, write to me and say well you know I sometimes choose English or I chose the proper language but everything seems to be in a different language. Uh, often when they have computers given to them or uh, computers sometimes that uh, come from another country and they notice that it's not necessarily the proper language. Make sure, first of all, you need to have the regular Windows 10 version. If in your uh, Windows you have something called Windows 10 N, that is a single language version. But most people have a standard version of Windows 10. Remember to properly set in the settings and time and language, the regions where you are and the languages that you want to use. So make sure that you uh, will select, for example, make sure the date and time are selected correctly, the, like you want. Region, make sure that your country or region is selected properly. Um, make sure that your regional format, so here is country or region is Canada, my regional format is English Canada. So make sure that you choose the proper language. If not, you can go and check the list, choose the proper mix of language and uh, country. It's a little more difficult often when you are in a country that has multiple languages. Sometimes it's not super easy. Uh, examples of how difficult sometimes a good setting could be is the proper Spanish, depending on what country you live in. Um, here in Canada, we have the you know English and French of Canada, so this is of course, and French from Canada is different from the French from France. So all of that together needs to be chosen correctly. Of course, you have the language. Language makes uh, also proper display. So here I'm in English United States for a purpose that is different. It's uh, dependent on um, what I do on the web and so on. But you just make sure that you choose a proper country. So you can add a language. Here, for example, you have English Canada. Make sure that when you choose that, that the language packs that says language packs are available, make sure that the down, you download the language packs. Make sure you click download to get the latest language packs for whatever language you'll be choosing. It's important because it adds to the experience overall in Windows. And of course, when all of that seems right and okay, the best thing to do after that is to simply go and click the restart button. This will enable you to have all of this, um, uh, all of the changes in languages uh, take effect. Also, another thing that it does is that it, there are some places in Windows that cannot have their language changed unless you have a restart, a complete restart. And last but not least, you will might notice that your apps, or especially the Microsoft Store apps, might not be of the language that you wanted. What that means is you need to uninstall them and reinstall them again. So once the language is changed, you'll see that things change in multiple ways, including your Windows Store. Your Microsoft Store will be uh, downloading apps in a different language than it did before. So sometimes you have to reinstall an app in order for it to be of the proper language. So there's kind of a mix that can happen in here. And of course, standard Win32 apps that you download, if they're not the proper language, you just uninstall them, go on the web and get the proper version. It will actually show up in the proper language once you have set this correctly. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.